his hand. In this film, there will never be a dull moment. It's just going to be bang, 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 adventure to next adventure. This year, Hogwarts will play host to the Triwizard Tournament. During which time, a single student gets to represent his or her school in a series of magical contests. I think it's great for people to realize that Hogwarts isn't the only magical school. One of the girls enter and just every man in the Great Hall was kind of going. This tournament's wicked, it's like really dangerous. They're all kind of potentially fatal tasks they have to get through to be the winner. There's the maze. There's the deep water and there's the dragon. The dragon, I think it'll terrify people. Harry's character changes so much. He is becoming a teenager. You're a right foul git, you know that. You think so? Ron gets a bit angry. It's because he thinks that Harry's always like the hero, but in the end it's quite cool. Even though he saved so many people, he sort of wants the celebrity thing to end. This year, for Hermione, she's just, more than anything else, on edge for so much of the film, and she just spends most of her time worrying about Harry. In the beginning of films, you sort of sense like a relationship between them two. Victor's gone to get drinks. She you care to join us? No, we would not care to join you and Victor. I guess he's sort of jealous. Or well, fraternising with the enemy. Stuff that he comes out with uh, results in quite a few arguments, which should be quite funny actually. I'm quite looking forward to those. When I read the script, I knew that a lot of the scenes with Rupert and Dan and this whole issue of finding a partner for the ball would be really funny. Why do they have to travel in packs? It's a character for anyone out there who's ever been awkward with a girl, which is probably every male. Anywhere in the world. He just asked Fleur de la Corte the ball. I'm not cut out for this, Harry. It's sort of more fun when you're sort of acting it, but uh, in real life it's pretty scary. She kind of has a boyfriend in this film, which is, for Ron and Harry, is a bit of a shock, really. Especially for Ron, who, you know, he's only just realised that she's a girl. <laughs> we had to waltz around in front of everyone. It was a bit embarrassing, but it was quite funny. I'm watching my feet the whole time. It's not good, not good. <laughs> you trust me, don't you? Um, it was very hard. And I got to about halfway through and then I would kind of just lose it completely. It's very funny because the girls get up and are really ready to go and dance and all the guys are really like... Oh, <sighs> uh, yeah. Part of the sequence where Harry gets knocked off his broom and lands on the roof. When Dan was holding onto that roof, there was quite a fall. Is it faster or slower or the same? It's or? pretty much the same speed. Right, same so speed. Going down down up, cage, stand by. It was interesting because it was very, very physical, which I enjoyed. That was really, really terrifying. And I'm not afraid to admit that. That was really scary. Anyone would be scared, I'm convinced. points in the sequence where Harry and other characters get attacked by hedges and attacked by roots and chased by hedges and our task was to make it just claustrophobic and dangerous and just generally very 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 scary. We start off with a live action plate and any 3D elements that have been developed we bring those and integrate them into the live action plate to try and make something look seamless and totally photorealistic. Almost 90% of the routes you see is visual effects. All these sequences we had to add CG roofs to the scene to make it more dangerous and scary. You know, how does a route attack? The animation team would spend a lot of time just sort of like hitting each other with them and trying things out with them. Start the effect. I think the balance came was they always had to be quite gnarly and angular. Brief moments they could go straight, but then they could wrap around things very quickly. It's a balance between whip and snake and a, a, a root e character. <laughs> Cedric's on the ground, initially shot with ropes tied to him, you know, pulling him around. <laughs> so we paint out the ropes and then add these roots that seem to whip and grab him and try and throttle in him. Lots of energy. It's pretty scary stuff. And action! 
Our task was to make the maze scary, spooky and eerie and trying to stop them at every possible corner. <laughs> What's scariest about it is the dark avenues. Some game, huh? Some game. Ultimately, it's really leading you to the final challenge, which is the battle with Voldemort. Stuart Craig in the production design department designed Crumb. It's quite a bizarre concept, having half human, half shark. It's great in the sequence, he starts off coming towards you and all you see is the shark's teeth and it's quite scary. And then as he comes past, you see these little human legs kicking him along behind, wearing swimming trunks, which uh, it was quite entertaining and quite fun trying to, trying to make that. <laughs> Grindelows are something out of the imagination of, of everyone involved in creating them, I suppose. It's always challenging to come up with fancy creatures like this that have nothing that you can look at and compare to and say, yes, we've matched that right. What One of the things we always have to do is try and find as creatures that are as similar as possible, or at least different aspects of them are similar. Like we looked at squid and octopus to try to get some of the, the skin texture from them. And it's a, a process of iterations of creating something and discussing it and changing it and, until you eventually come up with a creature that, that everyone's happy with.